Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and I didn't think I was going to make it to make this video today. Here in Wales, we have a wild storm raging, and uh, we started out the day with a red warning, which said, do not leave your house. It's too dangerous. They've lifted that, so I bundled up and made it. If you hear any thumping or whooshing, that is because we still have winds outside that are 60 miles an hour. Yikes. I'm glad I made it though, because I wanted to show a flip through of my latest altered book. If you like altered books, vintage books, paper and ephemera, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications and you will have more of them in your life. This book is really, really small and I love that. It's so much fun to try to make a full abundant pages when your canvas is so wee. This book started out as a book of poetry, The New Dawn. And to that, I added a, a little bit of a border here just to break up the, the cover and add interest and contrast to these guys. This is a French a dictionary page from 1842. I inked up the edges and then added the butterflies. They're from a book called Our Country's Moths and Butterflies, kind of a field guide. And that was from 1905. On the first layout, I have another one of those rough torn borders that adds contrast since this is the front there wasn't any text to add any detail then to that i added this lady and she's from a cabinet card and from her costume and her bustle and ribbons i'm going to say she's from the 1880s this card i took this envelope and turned it into a pocket it's from 1851. And this black wax, sealing wax, indicates that the family was in mourning. And this possibly contained a mourning card. But I don't have the card anymore, so inside I've added one that was a nice size for it. And it's a handwritten French, I don't know, prayer or, or, or prayer card. And uh, it says... Uh, that the cross of the saint be my light and that the dragon not be my master. So someone would have written that for himself or herself and then looked at that if they needed a little bit of a boost. Over here, I've started with a background of French maths tables. I love how math tables and numbers really make your pages pop. Gives contrast to your elements. Like these guys, they are from the girl's own paper. That was a, a weekly magazine that came out for young women. And uh, this was from a story. I'm not sure what that story would have been with these guys. But I love how he's given the side eye to him. Inside over here, this is another pocket. I've made this pocket by gluing the pages together. And if you'd like to see a longer video on how to make altered book pages and pockets by gluing pages together, I've got one and there's a link to it in the text below here. This is a, a card from 1911 from Gwillem Morgan. And it's got a little bit of a celluloid cover here. This is an abstract collage that is really fun to play with. I started out with a background of some handwritten French writing. And then this was some kind of a stamp from a legal document. Instead of sealing wax, it was just um, and uh, 
I like how it looks a little bit like a flower. And then this is a bit from a leather uh, cover of a ledger. I have a lot of broken book covers. I mean, a lot. This is another pocket that I made from a page of bird's eggs. And it just adds a little bit of contrast. Inside is a French holy card, and I love these ones with the mauve colors. And then I've added a handwritten French calling card. So like to fill the pockets up, make them abundant. This is a Victorian scrap. And I just love that guy's expression. I feel that way all the time. Okay, not all the time. Here is another pocket. Oh, it's actually kind of a tuck spot that I've made with a fragment of a wildflower page. Underneath that, I added a hot air balloon. It looks as if he's floating out of where he's been moored in here. Another card, holy card with these delicate florals. And a calling card it says, Heureuse anniversaire, so happy birthday. This background is from a book called The Observer's Guide to Bird, Bird Eggs. And uh, it's fun. It kind of gave up a little bit right there. If you've seen my videos on repairing altered book pages, you know that sometimes is going to happen. And when it does, the best thing to do is just enjoy the distress, the wildness a little bit, and the added texture. This is from another calling card. And over here, this is almost like a, a card that's a cameo because it's got this very light embossed portrait. And inside is a teeny tintype. And these little tintypes are called gem. Gem tintypes because they're so small. This is an ad. I actually used to have shoes very much like that. And I always love a wide lace, very fun. Let's see, in this pocket is a carte de visite, again from the 1880s. And there's some, some cupids, some angels, and here's some more angels on a vintage French holy card. Finally, on the back, I've made a collage. Started off with this little tiny Welsh folder. And I don't know what was in it. There's your table of contents. And onto these covers, I've added a poppy from Mr. Marshall's flower book and this engraving from the 18. 40s. It was a good day. I got this book of engravings of abbeys and cathedrals and ruins. So I've just cut that one down to fit there inside of that as a frame. This book is for sale, as is vintage paper ephemera, similar to a lot of the stuff that I've got in here. And I have links to that in the text below this video. Please subscribe to my online newsletter. It comes out once a month and it has free art tutorials, free scans, sometimes a giveaway, sometimes some fashion, and the occasional pep talk. So please join me for that. 
If you have a question or comment, please let me know. YouTube will like me better if you do. Until next week, happy making.